community is pleading for answers six days after Reverend Warren Beard disappeared. This is a really strange case. The pastor was visiting friends in Joliet on Tuesday night, but has not been seen since. NBC 5's Courtney Sisk spoke with family today who are hopeful the community can step up and help. Lord, we pray, God, that today uh, we get answers. Prayers, wishes, and warm embraces inside of the new Israelite Missionary Baptist Church Monday morning, where 53-year-old Warren Beard is a pastor assistant. Reverend Beard is um, a very important person to us. Pastor Alston has worked with Beard at the church for the past 18 years. He called Beard around 8.30 p.m. July 2nd. He was jovial, he was happy, joking as usual, um, and the phone call ended with, as we always ended, you know, I love you. It was the last time he or anyone in Beard's family heard from him. Six days later, they're left with the heartache of unanswered questions. We know that Reverend Warren Beard is not someone who would just disappear without saying a word to his family. His family says the father of five had friends in Joliet and would visit the area often, but he didn't return home Tuesday night and didn't show up to work Wednesday morning, something they say is completely out of character. His vehicle, a black 2023 Honda HRV Sport, is also missing, with license plate DY20511. His family says police told them the car was spotted in Joliet around 10.30 that night by a plate reader camera near Jefferson Street and Larkin Avenue. I can't take it. Family. His oldest son, Shane Beard, encouraging anyone in the Chicago or Joliet community to come forward with any information on his father's whereabouts. We just want to bring him home. The family tells me they want an update from police. Six days into their investigation, they want to know if there's been any activity on his credit cards or his cell phone or if that license plate has popped up anywhere else. I asked Chicago police those exact questions today, and within one minute, they responded saying there was... An what do you say? It appears that victim drove around a barricade at a closed bridge, and that's how he ended up in the water. But why remains a mystery, and it's only adding to a family's anguish. Tonight, the search for Pastor Warren Beard, ending in tragedy in the murky Displains River. He was the greatest person, one of the greatest men I've ever met in my life. And this is painful. <laughs> Beard's loved ones inconsolable after their worst fears were realized. An hours-long search with divers and sonar uncovering Beard's SUV in eight feet of water. The 53-year-old married father of five found dead in the driver's seat. We're all saddened. This is not how we wanted this to end. Um, but unfortunately, it has. Beard, the assistant pastor and Sunday school teacher at New Israelite Missionary Baptist Church on Chicago's South Side, went missing last Tuesday after visiting friends in Joliet. Authorities in Rockdale say one week later, an alert from Chicago police led them to a license plate reader hit of Beard's vehicle near a closed section of the Brandon Road Lock and Dam. Video police say showing the vehicle entering the water after it appears it was driven around a barricade and through a five and a half foot gap beneath the raised drawbridge, which had been closed for more than a year. It was small enough small enough of a vehicle to make it under the bridge and the road in the bridge into the river tonight for beard's family unanswered questions and heartbreak we want answers words can't even begin to describe how how we feel Rockdale authorities say Illinois State Police and Chicago Police are now the lead agencies investigating this case. The Will County Coroner is planning an autopsy for tomorrow, but it could be several weeks before a cause of death is determined. Watch hey fam, it's your boy King Delight. Um, just hey, just want to just come as, as the video has showed you um, the clip of um, Pastor Warren Beard of Chicago. Illinois was found deceased in his car. You know, and, um, you know, and, um, what was that? He had went over the bridge there and to the water. And, you know, family got questions and, you know, but my heart goes out to them. Heart goes out to his wife, his sons, his children, his congregation, you know, so. I'm just, you know, making this video and, you know, just to keep him and keep, keep his family, keep the congregation, keep his close friends, keep them all in prayer because they say this was unexpected. They still going to do an autopsy to see what's going to, ha what has happened, what's taking place, you know, no telling, it. you know, like I said, they say he was chipper, he was upbeat, he was fine, he was his normal jokey self, you know. 
you kind of remind me of me a little bit, but you know, just um, it's just you know, it's sad. You know, I mean, he's like I said, you're younger than I am. Just you know, it's sad that this happened, but like I said, now we got to keep the family in prayer, keep them lifted up before the Lord, and keep praying their strength. Rest in peace, man of God. Hey, you know, like I said, you know, just keep keep the family lifted up, everybody. Hey, you will be missed. Pastor Warren Beard, rest on, rest easy, my brother.